Time is money. So in this video, I want to share five tips that will help you edit a lot faster in Premiere Pro. The first tip is to not create any of your titles or animations yourself. Instead, you want to use the Essential Graphics panel inside Premiere Pro. Go to Window and then click on Essential Graphics panel. It will pop up right here. And what we want to do now is open up Adobe Stock. Now, as you can see, there is an entire library ready at your disposal. And if you tick free, you'll get animations, lower thirds, titles, everything for free that you can use immediately in any of your projects. If you ever found yourself in need of captions, but you were dreading the day that you would have to transcribe your entire video, I have good news. You don't have to do that anymore. Premiere Pro now offers an option to do that for you automatically. All you need to do is go to the new workspace in Premiere Pro 2022, it's called captions, then click on text and transcribe sequence. You want to make sure that you choose the right language and whether or not you want to transcribe only a selection of your timeline or your entire timeline. If you only want a selection, then obviously you want to set in and out points first. Click on transcribe and then give Premiere Pro a second to transcribe all the footage for you. When Premiere Pro is done, you want to double check and correct any words that it didn't get right and then hit create captions. Now in this window, you can customize the captions if you want. And when you're done, hit create and Bob's your uncle. When you have cut up one big clip, for example, a roll and you need to add effects, don't add the effects one by one to each individual cut. Instead, add it all to the source clip. Now to do this, open the source tab in the effect controls right here and then drag your effects to this window. Now, if we take a look at our timeline, we will see a line under FX that will appear on all of the affected clips. Now there's no point in doing this if you're using different source clips. In that case, I would recommend using an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer is a transparent layer to which you can add effects and color grades is really easy to apply it to all of the clips below it without the clips actually being affected. In order to create such an adjustment layer, we need to go down here to new item and then click on adjustment layer, hit OK, drop it on the timeline, change the size if you need to, and you're good to go. My next tip is to set yourself up for success. How? File organization. I know this is very boring, but trust me, this will help you edit so much faster when you keep things organized and it actually doesn't have to take very long. Assuming that you already have some file organization going on on your computer or your Mac, all you need to do is drag those folders inside Premiere Pro and you're good to go. If you want to level up, if you want to get even more organized, I really recommend using color coding to really easily find clips on your timeline. Especially if you're working on bigger projects, color coding your footage is going to help you a lot. There is one tip that I cannot leave out and that is shortcuts because using shortcuts will help you save so much time. I highly recommend anyone to learn shortcuts or even better to remap your editing keyboard so that the short shortcuts work for you. Now, if you want to learn five very powerful shortcuts, then make sure that you watch this video right here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.